Hi guys! My bedtime story tonight is slightly different. A friend of mine's mum has written a story called Covey the Little Green Dinosaur. It is available on download and all proceeds are going to NHS Charities Together which is just wonderful. I'm going to read a snippet from the book now and I know you're really going to enjoy it so let's get started. Mummy said we must stay at home and Emily was sad. She missed her school and teachers. She missed Granny and her dad. She could not go out to the park nor see her best friend Mo. When will things go back to normal? But Mummy did not know. Emily sat by her bedroom window looking down onto the street. There were no cars or delivery vans, no neighbours chatting as they meet. But then she spied the strangest sight. It made her blink and roar. For there upon the village green was a little green dinosaur. Emily's mummy rushed straight into the room. Emily, what is the drama? The little girl shouted with delight. Look, can you see him, mamma? Her mother looked, but all she saw was their pussycat called Tilly. Emily, she declared, it's time for bed. I think you're being silly. Emily was snoring loudly when she heard noise outside her house. She snuck downstairs to check it out, tiptoeing as quietly as a mouse. She squealed, it's you, I didn't make it up. Hip, 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 hurrah. The little green stranger was back and he was sitting on the car. Hi, my name is Covey, the little green dinosaur said, and I'm really pleased to meet you. Are you Oscar or are you Fred? Emily giggled and she replied, no silly, I am a girl. You can tell by the way I dance, she said and spun round in a twirl. The little girl told the dinosaur, I'm Emily and I'm pleased to meet you. I'm happy you said that, he said. Grown-ups think I want to eat you. They chatted for a little while and he told her why he came. Because people must stay inside, he said, which really is a shame. But you... But we all want you to stay safe, Covey told her with a sigh. You need to help the world get better. It's really best you try. And when the people stay inside, the earth can start to glow. Stars get bright, the air is clean, the rainforest and corals glow. The mermaids will go back to the seas, the fairies can fly again. Giants and unicorns can come back too, for they are scared of men. The strange noises and the rushing around had sent them all away. But now the earth is quieter, they are coming out to play. Creatures can go to the park when nobody's there and play upon the swing. My friends can run around in the streets and do all sorts of things. If somebody is living alone and has nothing left to eat, I can pop along to the shops and pick them up a tasty treat. So please stay safe, my little one. This is only for a while. And if you're sad, I will visit you, Covey promised her with a smile. They talked for a while and had some fun. Then Emily started yawning. It's time for bed now, Emily. Good night and I'll see you in the morning. How lovely was that? That is to be continued. So if you'd like to download the copy, then I'm going to put the link on this post. You can also go and like their Facebook page. Just search for Covey the Little Green Dinosaur. It'll give you some more information about Susie and also about the team behind the story. I've thoroughly enjoyed reading it. I hope you guys have enjoyed listening. Um, guys, stay safe, stay at home and protect our NHS. Good night.